Hey, my name is Pastor Jordan Beal. I want to tell you about a book called Truth and Love that the Lord put on my heart to write. It's based out of this scripture that comes from John 1:14 that tells us Jesus came from the Father full of truth and love. And uh, when you're reading this, I want to encourage you to have your Bible nearby because over and over and over in every chapter, uh, I point you to some passages that I want you to read, whether you're by yourself or whether you're going through the book with a friend or a small group. The goal is that we get back to what the truth is, what the Bible says. So there's so many you know, videos that go viral and quotes that you see on social media. There's things that I'm finding a lot of people, a lot of Christians are quoting that are people that they're quoting uh, and they're not quoting the Bible. And the reality is um, we have to get back to what the Bible says about different topics in our life. And you know that the Bible has, man, so many answers for you as a parent, as a person, as an employee, uh, things for your career, wisdom for you. We got to get back to what the Bible says about who God is and who we are. So the book is, is really sharing about who Jesus is as the perfect picture of truth and love. The Bible tells us he is the visible image of the invisible God. I believe that God is a father who knows what's best for you and he wants the best for you. I have four kids and I gotta tell you, they're all different. I know what's best for them and when my children learn to just trust me, uh, when they learn that there's rules for a reason because I love them, we develop this awesome deep relationship of love and respect for one another and God has that for you. He has that available but we've got to open his word, we've got to get back to who he is. The last half of this book deals with a lot of passages that have kind of been taken out of context, things about poverty and riches, things about the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. There are thousands of churches across the U.S. that are just throwing out the gifts of the Spirit simply because they don't understand them. And the reality is the Bible tells us what the fruit of the Spirit are, is all about, what the gifts of the Spirit are all about. And the reality is that Jesus teaches us how to walk in love and that the motive for giving uh, any sort of gift, spiritual gift or expression of a spiritual gift is love. God's motive is always love. The longer I follow Jesus, the more I discover this. I want to invite you to discover that with me. And you can learn more at uh, truthandlovebook.com. The book is available on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, anywhere you buy a book.